Hey yo guys, what's up? It's your boy, and I'm back with another video on Marvel Future Fight. And boys, I'm excited today. Like, I'm really, really hyped up because a new sneak peek dropped today, you know. And like, I saw it and I instantly knew what it was. And you know, they really are gonna give us a good update, like, if they don't mess up anywhere. Like, not with the pricing, not with the greediness. If they do things right, they might make some amends. Some amends. Like, I'm talking real stuff. You know. They might rework some good characters. But, you know. You won't know who they are unless I talk about them, right? I give you an idea of who they are. So let's see it. Like, this is just the regular gibberish they post. You know, in the sneak peeks. But, we're gonna move to the main stuff. You know, the stuff of legends, that is. So, you might see there, Laboratory Glass John number one. There's a green heart. We have green characters in Marvel Future Fight, isn't there? So, like, I'm really hyped for this one, but first, I'm gonna let you guys view the sneak peek. Then, we're gonna explain what it is. Let's see it, boys, let's see it. We have green heart that's beating. You know, I, I heard some thumping. And I think, yeah, we have a green, red figure with sort of, you know, red, green. I can't tell if the hair is green or it's red because of the heart, but I think it's red. And it might be, it just might be Red She Hulk, you know. And for those of you, of you guys who don't know who Red She Hulk is, well, She's Red Hope's daughter, apparently. She's Betty Ross, Elizabeth Ross. You know, Bruce Banner's lover. Now, how she became Red Hope? Well, you're gonna have to read the comics to it. But, I there's like two forms of her. Like, there's Red She-Hulk, which she originally became. Uh, her father helped her become Red She-Hulk. But then after some time in a part of the comics between because there's there is a specimen 2009 right in on the glass jar so it was from the comics of 2009 to 2018 and uh in the time frame between that when after she became a she hulk she was captured by moda and you know she was exposed to quite a huge amount of radiation and she gained the form of harpy you know Harpy ha is kind of Red She-Hulk, uh, but with wings, and you know, she has talons and she has claws as well. So that's what she's that what she might be coming as, or she might be coming as Red She-Hulk. But if you don't know what the uh, green heart in the glass jar means, you know, you can go check out the new comic of Immortal Hulk. And if you haven't read it, you know, I highly recommend it because. It's a hell of a ride, mate. It's a hell of a ride. You know, you see, like, one of the most savage Hulk personalities inside of Bruce Banner. And, you know, the comic is generally tied to a lot of characters that are trash in Marvel Future Fight. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up a list of those characters. And on the right side, you'll see a list of the characters who are not in the game but are tied to the comic and might come to the game. And believe me, like, there are great characters, like, there's Zemnu. You don't have Zemnu in the game. Zemnu's the first Hulk. He's like a, you know, white furry snow Hulk. And then we have Sasquatch. We don't have Sasquatch in the game. We have another furry guy, you know, Victor Creed, Sabretooth. And he's kind of teamed up with Sasquatch in the past. But, we need Sasquatch, right? We need the big furry Hulk. And then we have the leader, you know, the th Samuel Stern, the Hulk with the big range. Or he's technically he's like really thin, but instead of brawn, he has that big brain of his. So yep, we might get him, and like yeah, there's a good amount of characters that we might get. And then there's the uniform. Oh, I forgot the main guy, A bomb, you know. Richard Jones Hulk's friend who became the Blue Hulk you know 
he looks like this and yeah he has a shitload a crap load of powers guys because he can you know shoot out gamma beams I guess or energy beams you can say and he can manipulate in the end he has a sort of power called destiny force you know it's like the his powers are not really defined very well even in the comics or you know wherever you can check his powers are quite like vaguely represented but yeah he's quite powerful I might even say in some ways he's powerful than you know even immortal Hulk not at the level of world breaker Hulk but yeah he's close to immortal Hulk because you know he even with his thoughts like he's uh, rendered some an army of scrolls immobile and I don't remember the name of the comic that that happened in but yeah that stuff happened you know and he can manipulate energy he can manipulate reality like I just said and for some unknown reason he can fly and go invisible and if you don't believe me like check out uh, Hulk's Agents of Smash Disney uh, like animation and I think uh, there's some powers of him represented in that animation but enough about that let's talk about the characters that could get potentially great uniforms and the biggest you know the biggest uniform I want for is my guy here Hulk because you guys will see like Hulk's trash in this game right like he's really trash whenever he got a uniform he, he's like never gotten a metal breaking uniform at all like never at all whenever he's gotten a uniform like world he got world war Hulk back in the day and like this was not a great upgrade back then so after that he got I think Maestro came before that or after that I think before that and then he got uh, Thor Ragnarok Hulk you know and it, like he got a great upgrade he got healing at, at, at his passive and he got some penetration like 50% chance to penetration and he got damage immunity so yeah it was a sizable upgrade for him because you know he was tanky but he still took a lot of damage and he died quickly and but after that he could like tank a whole lot more like he gained some value in PvP at the uh, time you know in the meta but he still was not met he did not even enter the meta you know he was just on the borderline they did the same thing with the team suit and the end game uniform he got a great upgrade in the passive with the healing he got a 20% all attack all defense buff you know he got some fracture for PvP and like he got used in PvP for a month but after that you know we got Jean Grey's new uniform and he was absolutely forgotten absolutely forgotten man you know and like I heard for him because he's the big guy you know and he's been trampling the bone like you can see the irony in that guy you know then then we have this bald guy with the abs, you know, with the chain ball and the abs. And I would say, like, he gets a sizable buff in the comic. Like, you know, he's infused with gamma. He gets all sort of red and stuff. And, you know, he fought Hulk. He gave him a hard time. He got the, uh, you know, power to absorb gamma out of Hulk. And the Hulk has, like, the same power. But his was just so amplified that he took hold, all of Hulk's gamma you know and then they all went to hell like everybody who was present at the scene spoiler alert though you know they went to hell and yeah that was sort of good and he becomes like his whole body goes red so he could get that uniform like I haven't even built him because he's so trash in the game like he's literally trash he can maybe do Shadowlands stage 1 or 2 at if you build him up you know, and that's, I'm talking about a tier 2, not even tier 1. So, yeah, that could be great. So, and and if we're talking about She-Hulk, you know, you know, the Harpy uniform could be a buff for her, but, you know, generally, Elizabeth Ross is different than her because she is Bruce Banner's cousin. I think her name is Jennifer Walters, and she's a lawyer. And, like, Harpy is Elizabeth Ross. So she's an entirely different person. So I guess she's gonna be a character, but like I wouldn't be surprised if they just bring, you know, Harpy as a new uniform for her. And it could be good sh since you know she could get a buff. But 
like I wouldn't count on it. Then we have Thaddeus Ross himself, the Red Fiery Hulk. Now, he's like by the time the you know at the t the timeline the comic he's already dead. He was killed by Bruce. But you know since they're you know referencing to the comics before the Immortal Hulk. You know, I might as well go far as to say, you know, they might give him a new uniform and he, like, direly needs that buff. You know, because besides the leadership of fire damage, yeah, he gives 60% fire, fire damage at 6 stars. Except that, he can maybe do Shadowland and nothing else. Like, he's not even good for World Boss. And after him, we have our famous Asian Hulk, Amadeus Cho. How Amadeus Cho, one of the, I think, top seven smartest kids in the world, got to be Hulk, you know? He later gets named Braun, I think, in the New Avenger or something. Yeah, but how do you became Hulk, he asked. Well, he drained off Gamma from Bruce Banner, you know, absorbed it so that, you know, he could recuperate, and he became Hulk instead. And he even got a uniform, Monsters Unleashed. You know, and it was not too great of a buff, like he wasn't too great or anything. Like he wasn't too great before, and even after this uniform, it wasn't enough of a buff for him. And like, four other characters got the same uniform besides him. Like, Elsa Bloodstone got a uniform. You know, Kid Kaiju got a uniform. He's a paywall. You know, and a buff for him was not enough. Like, the uniform was not enough. And. Uh, I guess, I think Medusa got a uniform, but she, yeah, it brought some changes for her, so I guess it was okay. You know, it bumped up her survivability, some new iframes, a bit of a bump in her leadership for universals. So it was useful at that time, but like, it was not meta breaking. And I think Moon Girl got a uniform as well. So yeah, these five characters got a uniform, and none of them. Like, none of them became even close to what you can call a good character. Yeah, so we might get this, you know, the base look, as well as the uniform for Abomination. Yeah, like, they really did him good in the comics, like, a new Abomination. He has Richard, Ry Richard no, not Richard Ryder, Richard Jones' look with the original Abomination, the Kowalski's body. They merged the two to make the new Abomination. Yeah, and we might get Sasquatch, you know, if they're generous, Harpy as a character or a uniform, and you know, there's a time, lastly, like last but not the least, there was a tie into Venom, you know, so my boy Venom, he might get a buff, you know, he kind of, you know, gets buffed up and everything, and like he becomes huge, you know, you can read that comic, but yeah. That's all I wanted to talk about to you guys, you know, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys, signing out.